So this is uh, just a quick tutorial on how you're going to do this lab. And what I want you to see here um, in this, just at the beginning here, um, I'll just read this, read along with. Uh, it says that commercial airports and throughout the country, weather is observed and measured and recorded. In New York State alone, there are over a dozen observation sites. These stations record temperature, dew point, cloud cover, visibility, height of cloud base, amount of precipitation, wind speed, wind direction, just to name a few things. The measurements made every hour at every station around the world. These are very large amounts of data, which can be useful in predicting weather. The challenge is to put all that information in, communicate it to every weather station in the United States. Because of the lack of space on weather maps, the weather information needs to be coded. <clears throat> in order to do this, information needs to be highly organized and standardized throughout the country. By using station models, this data can be represented by a symbol or number that is, and its meaning is easily understood by where the symbol or number is placed on the station model. Through this lab, you'll learn to understand the station models used in meteorology by coding and decoding a variety of stations. We've done this already in class, so it shouldn't be totally unfamiliar to you. But this is in the reference table. So this we've seen over the last couple days, how to code these and how to decode these. But there are a couple things that are different, so don't just assume that you know how to do this. And don't just go ahead, those of you that are right now going to the second page and trying to finish this before we get started. So if you turn to the next page, you'll see here's the procedures on what you need to do. But a couple of things that are a little bit different than that we, what we've done in the last couple days. If you're looking at cloud cover and you want to show 60% cloud cover, which would be 6 out of 10, or 40%, or 10% or 90%. This is, these are symbols that we haven't seen. We've just done like 25%, 50%, 75% overcast and clear. Overcast is 100% cloudy. And so that's, that's where that comes from. These uh, weather symbols or the precipitation symbols, that's the present weather. That's either here or it's also in your reference table. So you can use both of those to, to help you um, figure that out. If you turn to the third page, what you're going to do is, is figure these out first. Um, and we there, there are a couple things that I, I want you to, to point out to you. Temperature and temperature. There's two temperatures, and they're both ones in Celsius and ones in Fahrenheit. I'd prefer it if you did one of these as air temperature in Fahrenheit, and the second one is dew point temperature in Fahrenheit, so you can change those on your lab. So you can do that now. And this pressure three hours ago, that is not the trend. And I will talk to you about how to do that um, when, we, when I come back tomorrow. But, so you can, don't, you don't cross this out, but you can skip this for now. On this page, you'll, these are the weather symbol station models. You'll take this information and you'll put it in station models. Um, oh, one, one other thing on this page, sorry. Uh, if there's no symbol here, like in this station, there's no, no symbol. So the precipitation type, there would be none. For this one. And so in this case, if there's no present weather, then you wouldn't have to put a symbol on that side. But here's all your data for that goes onto these uh, weather station diagrams. The next page, the third page, um, with this conclusion, you may have more than one weather station model. These are lettered. These weather station models are lettered. You may have more than one station that fits the description, so you can have more than one letter here. The warm front and cold fronts, we haven't had a chance to talk about yet, but I will tell you in the reference table, you'll see weather front symbols near your uh, station model diagram, and you'll see that this one is the warm front, has a little uh, half circles, and the one with the triangles is a cold front. So that's the difference between those. And 
you'll just fill those in for your conclusion. Do the best you can with this back page. So this is the back page. It's matching. You may need to look some of these up in the back of the book in terms of air masses or uh, warm fronts, stationary fronts, occluded front to see if you can match those up. Very straightforward lab. If you have questions, Ms. Ms. Okonski can um, help you. She may be able to help you. I gave her some uh, pointers on, on what with a key to, so that she could help if you have questions. But I really would like you to, to try and see if you can do these. You should be able to do these on your own now that you've had some practice over the last couple days. Good luck and be good.